So I'm Zoe from First Great Pond and Beavers. I'm now going to show you how to make the origami crane, which is also known as an orizuru, which is obviously its original name in Japanese. So the first thing you're going to need is an A4 sheet of paper from which you're going to make a square. I will now show you how to make a square. Go. Okay, so from our A4 sheet of paper, we're going to take one corner and fold it across. So we're going to want to make it flat along this side. Once you've got it flat, press the crease so that you've got a nice fold. So now you're going to want to get rid of this bit. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is again fold it. You've now got a crease to cut along. Good. So once you've then cut off that end, you are left with your square. So to start making our crane, we've already got one diagonal line that we made. We're going to want to do the second diagonal line. And flatten it back out. We're then going to want to do our straight folds. So that our piece of paper is folded in all directions in half. Now once you've done these, you're going to want to do them again, but folding them backwards. Okay? Go. So now all of my folds have been folded both ways. It is very important that they do fold both ways. The next thing you're going to want to do is take two of the corners, diagonal corners, and hold them together. Okay? But now, you're going to want to fold... the corner that's sticking up down so you make a, squ a smaller square okay and do exactly the same with the other side cool. so this is what you're going to want your piece of paper to look like making sure that all of your folds and your creases are nice and firm so the next thing you're going to want to do is take the top point which is the closed point between your fingers and the side point you're then going to fold them in like that okay so going along the middle line you want to do this with all four sides okay. so now our piece of paper looks like this the next stage we want to do is this top bit we're going to fold down and again we need to fold it both ways okay again making sure our creases are nice and firm we then want to put that back to where it was. We've still got this shape. We are now going to open the two flaps that we've just made, that we made before and pull the, pull the flat piece of paper out. So we get our piece of paper that looks like this. Next thing, these two side creases, we're going to push inwards. So that our piece of paper now looks like either a rhombus or a slightly stretched diamond. You're going to want to do this with the other side as well. Go. So now our piece of paper looks like this on both sides. We've now got two legs. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is fold these up. So we want the middle all the way up to the middle. The outside edge, we want it flat to this, to this corner. Okay. And we're going to want to fold that backwards on itself as well. Still following the same crease line, but now it's been folded both ways. Now repeat this step with the other leg as well. Cool. So now our piece of paper looks like this. Using the, our, our two legs, starting with one at a time, we're going to open the top triangle, open the two faces, and we're going to want to fold our leg into itself. Still following the same fold line that we've just created. This side goes between the two faces. Okay, repeat that again with the other side. Go. So now we've got to this stage, we are very, very nearly done. So we are now going to want to take one of our legs to create the head for our crane and again fold it back only about a third of the way down into itself. Like that. 
Now the last thing we want to do is to curl our wings. You can just roll them around your finger just to give them a little bit of a curl. And our crane is now done. So now you know how to make the crane, you can do them in multiple sizes. So I challenge you to who can find and make the smallest one. As you can see, if I put my hand here, you can see how small that one is. You could make that one even into an earring. So I challenge you to make one as small as possible. Cool. So for anybody who thinks that making the crane is maybe slightly too easy for them, I've got another challenge for you. So Lexus challenged their staff and new employees to do this challenge in under two minutes. Okay, so this is to make the cat um, origami. Again, you will start with a square, exactly the same way as I showed you to make from an A4 piece of paper. And I'll now show you how to make it. So again, we've still got our first diagonal line. We're going to want to make the second diagonal line again. Okay, so leaving it folded in into a triangle, we're then going to fold to make our ears. So using our middle line, we fold at an angle so that our centre point meets our centre line. And then repeat with the other side. So there's our ears. We're now going to turn it over. Okay. And then with the closed side, we then fold about a third of the way up, and then we fold back down again. And there we go. So Lexus's challenge is to be able to do that with your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, do it with your left hand. And if you're left-handed, do it with your right hand. So you have to be able to do it with in under two minutes. My record is 57 seconds. I wonder if any of you can beat me. Happy making, guys.